Hey guys, in this session, let us discuss what is JDK, JRE, and JVM for a beginner level. To understand this, let me consider I have a programmer who wants to develop a software in Java platform and he has certain requirements as discussed in our video how to create, compile and execute a Java program. So guys, if you have not watched this video, I would recommend you to pause the current video, refer this video and then get back to the current video. If you have already watched, it's amazing, let us continue. So as discussed in our video, for a programmer to develop a software using Java, he has two basic requirements. What is that? Requirement number one. He need a Java compiler which helps me to convert a Java source file into a Java class file which will have instructions written in bytecode. And the requirement number two is he need an environment that is nothing but JRE which stands for Java Runtime Environment to successfully execute the class file. So guys, now this is the important concept for us. The Java community has beautifully designed a package and that package will include the development tools such as the Java compiler as well as the Java runtime environment that is nothing but JRE put together inside one package. And that package we call it as JD. K, where JDK stands for Java Development Kit. I think it's very clear now what is JDK. JDK is an important component developed by the Java community which consists of the development tools such as Java Compiler as well as the Java Runtime Environment which is required for execution of a Java file. So this is all about JDK. Now let us try to understand what is JRE. So JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment. So guys, this Java Runtime Environment consists of two important stuff. So what is that? One is the JVM. The other one is all the built-in class files or you can also call them as the library files which is required for the execution of a java file so now guys let us conclude this what is jre jre is nothing but java runtime environment which consists of jvm along with the library files of java or you can also call it as built-in class files so finally, let us go to the third important terminology, JVM. So what is JVM? JVM stands for Java Virtual Machine. So this Java Virtual Machine is the one who is really responsible to convert our bytecode instructions line by line into the machine understandable language and it would be executed. Got it? So JVM normally consists of an interpreter which helps to convert your bytecode into a machine understandable language and it would execute our class file. Therefore, JVM is very essential for the execution of a Java file. So from this, I hope you guys got a very clear cut basic understanding about what is JDK, JRE and JVM. Now guys, assume I have Smith who is a programmer and he want to develop a software using Java in his computer. So now tell me what Smith must do. Smith must download and install JDK. That's all. So guys, we have different versions of JDK available starting from JDK 1.1 to the latest version that is nothing but JDK 14. Guys, it is always recommended to use any JDK between JDK 8 
and JDK 14 according to the current industry standards. And these JDK files are available in Oracle website. Guys, don't worry. I will guide you and I will walk you through how to download, install and set the Java path for the JDK in our installation video. So let me conclude in this session we have neatly understood what is JDK, JRE and JVM for a beginner to quickly start Java. That's it guys. Thank you. Bye bye. See you all in the next session. Visit Skillery.com to know in detail about Java and Java related courses designed by the experts of Skillery. If you like this video, subscribe to Skillery's YouTube channel. Click here to watch similar videos. Thank you.